you just hit 80 and you want to catch up as quickly as possible. But nobody will let you raid or play arenas without gear. It's a classic chicken and egg problem, but luckily I'm here with gearing solutions. From the new Titan Rune dungeons to the Argent Tournament catch-up gear, I've got the best possible ways to gear your character without ever setting foot in a raid. The first thing your fresh 80s should do is to grab the best available PvP gear based on your honor and your rating. That means taking your fresh 80s to Wintergrass every 3 hours to rake in the honor and Wintergrass marks. In Phase 2, there's brand new Furious Gladiator gear and new off pieces available at a shocking 232 item level. Nay. But if you don't want to farm Battlegrounds, make a 5s team and yellow every game until you're at least 1300 rating. The brand new Commendations of Bravery cost just 100 arena points each and give 2000 honor. Playing 10 games a week in under 1 hour will net you 24,000 honor per week for free gear. Once you have a few PvP pieces, the best way to get your character caught up is by running Titan Rune Dungeons. In Phase 2, a new Titan Rune mode will be added to each heroic dungeon. The mode increases both mob health and damage, plus there are new affixes. Each set of dungeons has a specific affix. For example, in my Utgar Keep, we had to keep moving or stacks of Glaciate would freeze us. But trust me, we were able to clear the new dungeons with blue gear even with the increased difficulty, making Titan Rune dungeons the ultimate catch-up mechanic. On top of the typical previous blues, every normal boss in Titan Rune mode drops a bonus epic 200 piece of gear. Wow. In Utgard Keep, I got a really nice Veiled Amulet of Life and a Slayer of the Lifeless, which typically drop a Nax 10. The final boss in each Titan Rune dungeon also drops a 213 piece of loot or a BOE, as well as tier set pieces. Each boss has a specific possible table, so you can go after individual upgrades. And make sure to stay tuned as I'm working on a full loot table document. But that's not all. You'll also get Emblems of Valor from every boss you kill. If that's not enough for you, the Daily Dungeon Quest offers two bonus Emblems of Valor instead of just Heroism. Plus, the Daily Heroic gives out two Emblems of Conquest. Even better, if you kill the final boss of the Daily Heroic in Titan Rune mode, you'll get a bag with three additional Conquest Emblems in it. Check out my Emblems of Conquest video for the best gear you can buy and info on how to get the most Emblems per week. What's so awesome about getting all these easy emblems every day is that you can turn them into BIS quality loot from the vendor. There are BIS tier 8.5 chests and helmets available for 58 emblems of conquest each. And plus, there are off pieces like belts, gloves, and necklaces, all at 232 item level. And if you want big profit or to craft your own gear, you can buy ruined orbs for 18 emblems of conquest each. And you can help craft my gear by liking the video, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell. Thank you back to emblems, don't think that your emblems of valor are going to waste. These can be turned into 213 pre-biz pieces to push your gear score up quickly. And if you want PvP gear instead, there are full deadly and hateful main sets available just for emblems. Want to skip the grind? You can always buy pricey 200 item level pre-biz pieces like Titan Steel Armor and Weapons. There's also the sweet but very expensive 226 item level rings from Harold Winston and Dalaran. You can even wear the upgraded version alongside the old version. But if you're broke, there are plenty of deals out there to save you time gearing. My Holy Paladin just picked up a 175 item level Serenite Spellblade for 70 gold. Then I got a Dark Moon Card Illusion for just 90 gold. I was able to deck out a Paladin within 2 hours of hitting level 80. That meant I could just play the game instead of dancing on mailboxes for raid invites. But if you don't want to spend any gold, another great catch-up mechanic is the Argent Tournament. And sure, you can buy exclusive epic mounts and cute pets, but you can also get 200 item level weapons like the Blunderbuss of Kazmodan or the Spinal Destroyer just by obtaining champion seals. Check out my video on the Argent Tournament to learn how to get your epic mounts and loot before everybody else. 